Hey guys and welcome to my channel Scuba Travel and Adventure. My name is Thomas and today I want to talk about the package that I just have received from AliExpress which I have ordered in the beginning of April and now we have uh, middle of July. Uh, so basically uh, it took quite a few months uh, to arrive but finally it's here. So what I've ordered three different things. It's a clutch lever, brake lever and rear brake uh, reservoir. I will show you also how to install it. So, but at first I want to talk about the quality of the first impression of the items uh, or, or the levers that I got. So this is it. Uh, it's made out of uh, nice uh, anodized aluminum and it's got Africa twin colors and what's nice about it it is uh, adjustable it's got six different settings here uh, they are foldable so you can fold it uh, and uh, get it out of the way if you have to and uh, another nice feature of it is that uh, they are adju adjustable the stock levers are slightly longer and those ones here they have the little screw here so you can slide it out or put it back in in the front i'm not sure if it's gonna focus uh, properly it's got a nice engraved uh, africa twin logo so overall impression uh, first impression is pretty good and they seem like they are made pretty well nothing is loose and everything is holding well so that's uh, one of them the second one is uh, pretty similar it's just a little bit different mechanism on that side because one is for clutch one is for brake the packaging that it came in it's not the most impressive it's uh, basically just the envelope and they were wrapped in foam which is probably good enough uh, nothing nothing got uh, damaged uh, in the transport everything arrived uh, in uh, in a good shape so the other item that i've ordered is the as i mentioned the brake reservoir with the crf logo and i'm not, uh, not going to cover the install of that because that's pretty simple just to pop one screw put it in and put it back so it's also made out of aluminum it looks pretty solid so i'm not gonna waste any more time uh, talking about it uh, we'll see uh, how actually they perform and how would they fit so of course we're gonna start with the installation if I have any comments after writing uh, if uh, I will keep you updated maybe down below in uh, in the comments if you have any questions uh, regarding those you can always shoot me a comment down below and you can subscribe to my channel that's always uh, appreciated hit the notification bell that way you'll stay updated when I release the new content so let's jump into this video of the installation process so the first step would be to loosen up the, the the nut here that's holding the cables just so you can bring it out of the way so you can remove uh, that bolt in here that's holding the lever on the bottom there is a nut that's holding the whole uh, screw so first thing you have to undo this nut and then you can unscrew the top part and remove it uh, I will get the camera back and I will show you how it's done. So I will loosen that locking nut so I can access the screw. That's the 14 millimeter wrench. The screws that are holding the, the brake lever uh, are 10 millimeters. So I will undo that one first. Just be careful because there is a little washer and remember which way it goes on and now i'm gonna try to access that screw that's going right through the brake lever and that's also a number 10. so that's the screw that is going through there and now i should be able to slide it out of there so that's the OEM one and now I'm gonna pop in the new lever in its place I'm gonna start with the bolt from the top line it up Now I'm gonna put the washer and a nut in, a, in its uh, place where it should be, but be careful because uh, 
when you're looking at this spacer here, the flat part goes down against the nut. Now on its left is not to forget to tight the locking nut for the throttle. That one here, as I mentioned before, it's a 14 millimeter. Just make sure it's snug, not too tight, because the housing it's all plastic, so not to damage anything. So and there they are, nice and short. You can grab them with two fingers. So the highest settings actually goes quite far and you can bring it closer to on one. I think that's where I like it, like the previous ones. And now we'll move over to the other side to do the clutch uh, lever. So to remove the clutch lever, it's pretty much the same story. We'll start with the bottom uh, nut and a washer to get this out of the way. And the washer and goes the same way as the other side uh, with that flat side facing down. Mirrors, it's a good thing. You can easy pop them off or get it out of the way if you have to. So that bolt is actually threaded on both sides, so you can't just push it up. And then you have to loosen up the tensioner on the clutch. If you have a bark buster, you're gonna have to remove the hand guards, the plastic covers. All right. So now we have to make it the cable as loose as possible so screw this all the way in and then you can adjust the tension back in uh, so you can release the cable from the oem brake and there she goes Actually, I'm pretty impressed with the fitting so far. So far, so good. Everything is fitting well. To reassemble, it's the same story. We'll start with the top bolt and screw that thing in there. And again, just make it snug. Don't go too tight because like the housing is made out of plastic. So be careful. Now just make the adjustment on your clutch. They work pretty well and as I said, I don't think it makes a difference when you have, when you have a bark busters, but they do fold out of the way. And it's a good idea to go over all those bolts and tighten it as, as you need because uh, just uh, just to make sure that, uh, you know, made in China stuff, you never know. And those are important components of your motorcycle. So the last thing that you want to do is um, turn the motorcycle on and check your clutch, how it is responding, just to make sure it's uh, grabbing in a correct spot for you. And uh, I find that those uh, levers are pretty nice, so you can very nice for two finger operation. So we'll start it up and see how is the clutch for performing. Add a 
couple of small items that I didn't mention during the install. The pivot bolt uh, on uh, that's holding the brake lever is 0.7 foot-pound of torque and the front brake uh, lever pivot nut, same thing goes for the clutch, it's 4.4 uh, foot-pounds of torque. Thank you for watching, if you found the video helpful please make sure to hit the like button and hit subscribe this way you'll stay updated when I release uh, new content. Don't forget to hit that little notification bell as well and see you next time.